Hello everybody, this is Frony Till Bobbin here, and welcome back to Train Simulator 2, where today we'll be taking a look at the Paris Montparnasse route. Yes, yeah, time for our first French route here in Train Simulator 2. Yeah, so uh, France doesn't get much representation here in the world of Train Simulators, but thankfully here in Train Simulator 2, there are, actually there's only one of a few other uh, routes that are actually entirely dedicated to France, and this is the first one that we're going to be looking at. Uh, the Paris Montparnasse, the first ever all, f or, yeah, the first ever all French route released for Trains Simulator 2. And so we've got a lot of French equipment to take a look at, of course, the bus up is very French as well. So, let's take a look at all the content that I get here in the Paris Montparnasse route. Before we get started, be sure to check out my Fiverr gig. Link is in the description. Okay, so lots and lots of French equipment to go through. Uh, so let's start here with the SNCF CC 14100, which is uh, this guy, of course. This oops, not this one. This one. This is the this is an uh, engine. Yes, it's a very old one, both in terms of real life and in terms of trains. Uh, trains lore, considering how old this thing. Yeah, look at how. Yeah, this thing looks kind of bad, but it is probably a pretty old asset. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but here it is, the SNCF CC uh, 14100. Well, here it says 14141, so I'm not sure what to believe. Uh, but here it is, very old engine, but uh, looks kind of cool. It's got the, the interior cab view, and of course the oldness kind of continues in here, but it's it's interesting though, I'll give it that. It's definitely an interesting looking cab in this train, or in this local move. And also another positive point, you realize, hey, this cab is actually accurate. To this train as well yeah there seems to be a few trains in this game that like to just use cash from other locals but this one actually has the correct cab so that's pretty cool so of course let's blow the horn there you go very french horn and what about the bell okay the bell is just the horn all right uh so that's that all right now for all of the freight rolling stock you get here in this add-on uh, first up is the SNCF. Uh, well, okay, so, okay. So all everything starts with SNCF. By the way, so if you want to search for everything, just go to the SNCF section and you'll find it. So first up, we have the GBS 2 which seems to be some sort of box car of some sort. I don't know if there's like a regular box car, refrigerated car, or something like that. But uh, looks kind of cool. It's kind of old as well, though. Yeah, I think a lot of these have stayed back quite a few years. So this one is uh, pretty old. I guess I think all these are old. Up next is the. Serialier E no Serialier A S six trans I have no idea it's it's this thing oops not not this thing this thing yeah that's it's it's a, this one is a very strange looking name and it's a very strange looking wagon as well but I'm guessing this is some sort of like covered hopper car or something like that I'm not really too sure about this thing but there you go uh, up next is the Serial Sanders car. Uh, which seems like another hopper, but it's a bit more of a bigger one. Uh, so yeah, this is quite a chunky boy indeed. Uh, it's quite a hopper car as well. This draws a lot of them. Uh, up next is the Wagon A Sable SEC. Um, not sure what kind of wagon this is. Looks like it carries... Maybe it's a lethal... I don't know. Maybe it's a rail treatment train type of wagon. I'm not too sure. But yep, there's a, another wagon. Uh, up next is the Wagon STVA. Uh, this is the number one wagon, and there's the number two. I believe these, uh, now these wagons are actually kind of obvious to me. I believe these are car hauler wagons. Um, I forgot to check if there's a, if my, there might be an option in the uh, properties to actually lose up with actual, like, automobiles. Uh, but at least if you want to have car hauler wagons, um, there you go. I'm not sure if you can load cars under these. I might have to check it out later. Uh, we'll see. Uh, up next is the wagon... Azur or A Z U R. This looks like similar sort of smaller tanker car thing. Yep. All right, there you go. Up next is the Wag Granite, um, which seems to be another covered hopper car. I think this might be the same asset as the uh, Sanders wagon, isn't it? Um, yeah, this one's pretty much the Sanders wagon, but just to reach into this grand livery, looks kind of cool actually. I like it. And finally, you have this thing, the Wag Tom SGV, or no, S, S, or is it SGW? I may have mistyped that. Uh, but this thing, 
This one kind of looks like a reskin of like one of the old wagons that we already have, but I think this might be a new add-on or new asset actually. Or when I say new, it's a different asset. It's definitely not new though. I mean, look at this thing. It looks like it comes from the year like I don't know, 1990 something. <laughs> yeah, which is weird because this game originated 2001. So I don't know. Lots of old-fashioned rolling stock, but there you go. That is all of the freight rolling stock they get here in this add-on. Uh, so I have two more freight locomotives. Uh, first up here is the SNCF BB67000, which I believe is a diesel locomotive. Yes, looks like this was also double-ended, so... Yeah. Let's go to the cab view. Oh, looks like we have a reused... Wait a minute. This cab is this, this is an inverted cab of the Class 50 or whatever it was called. This is a... Oh, yeah, here we go. Well, at least that locomotive had a actually a cab that was like specific to locomotive. This one does not. This one's just a generic cab. He's even got the AWS Sunflower, which doesn't... As far as I'm aware, they don't use AWS in France. That's only a British thing. Or at least this type of AWS. So, yeah. Horn. Ah, uh, it's the old generic trains. Horn. Yep. All right, I can even bother to make a customer for this one. All right. Up next, we have a electric locomotive. Yeah, uh, we actually raised the crane up, I think. Can we? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, the crane doesn't touch the wire. Oh, that's funny. Uh, but this is the SNCF BB36000, uh, which is a, well, that's just one is an electric locomotive. I just kind of like the, look, the, way, the way that this one looks. It's interesting. Oops. I mean, <laughs> man, I'm hitting all these random buttons. All right, uh, let's to the horn. This one does actually have a horn that is uh, attached to this locomotive. Does it have a bell by any chance? Nope. All right. And yes, remember to tell your freight stuff. So let's look at some pads equipment then. Uh, we got our sort of like local train type of thing. Uh, this here is the SNCF uh, 1,500, no, 15,000. One one five zero 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 BB. That that it's 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 an it's an NF. It's an NF. Yes. Uh, it's a older style electric locomotive. Uh, which I believe. Well, I actually think this one can be used on a lot of things, but I guess this one is particularly seen on uh, regional passenger trains. Um, this one actually looks better than some of the other stuff they've looked at so far. Cab view. Uh, okay. Pretty sure this is a reused cab once again. I think this one is slightly more sort of looks like this locomotive, but it's still wrong in a number of ways. Yeah, it's it's yep, typical trains things. Well, let's see if the horn's any good at least. Nope. Generic train sounds. Oh, but okay. All right, up next we have a couple coaches. These are the SNCF Core Rail coaches. We have was basically a first class coach in this thing here. We also have a second class coach. Uh, by any chance, do these have a passive view? No, nope, I don't think so. Any things have an interior? Nope, that they would have an interior. Okay. Uh, but these guys actually don't look too bad. They're probably one of the better looking assets in this add on here. But yeah, there you go. The SCF Core Rail coaches are available in this add on. And I guess you may be waiting for me to check out this thing. And yes, this rail comes with the TGV duplex. It just wouldn't be a fresh one without the TGV included uh but here is the tgv duplex the older version uh which at least in terms of the shape actually somehow looks better than the newer train similar 3 version that i looked at about a month ago um i mean of course the text is a bit worse because this is an older add-on of course this comes from like pff, i don't know decades ago um okay not decades but a long time ago uh but here is the tgv duplex that's the front car and then we have oh come on then we have the coaches of course and i don't think these have an interior oh these do have an interior oh hold up do they have a passive view as well i'm not sure i don't know uh so we're on the consistence we have all the i believe it's like the uh, first class coaches or something i don't know how the class system of the tgb works actually here's the middle uh i believe this is the buffet car or something and then we have the second class coaches and of course the rearward locomotive so this, this is a train that you're probably all familiar with, though. I actually, I even did, actually I've done two videos uh, way back in the day of me actually driving this thing. First time I drove this was on the uh, electric commuter route. I think that was the first, I'm not sure. And then the second time, whatever, was on the, uh, was on my Froyo 13 quarter route, which sadly has been lost to time, but that video does still exist. 
Uh, anyways, look at the interior cab again, and this cab does at least suit this locomotive, although it... Oh. Uh, okay, I like how the, uh, like, the actual controls actually look nicely, or okay, somewhat nicely detailed, the rest of it is just a void. Yeah, this, this interior is terrible. At least, e even the train Smart 3 version has, like, a better interior than this. But the exterior looks fine, let's look at this little horn. There you go, very, uh, TGB horn. Any bow by any chance? Nope, okay. Of course, we can also raise the pantograph. There you go. Alright, TGB duplex in the Paris Montparnasse. Now, I guess one thing I must mention about TGB duplex, you don't have to get this, you don't, well, you don't have to get this specific add-on to get this local, but you can also get, or, or this train, you can also get it in the electric commuter route as well, where you can do a bunch of other stuff. Uh, and don't worry, we'll look at the electric commuter route at some point. And finally, we have a steam engine. Yes, this is the SNCF uh, locomotive 231 in black. So yeah, we get a steam engine in this add-on. In fact, one other thing I may have just remembered about the steam engine. I think I actually, this was actually the, uh, the lucky thumbnail train for the uh, flying trains video that I did way back in the day. Remember that? Uh, but yeah, we get a steam engine. So lots of different equipment in this add-on. So let's. Blow the whistle on this thing. This one sounds awfully American to me. But does it have a bell by chance? Oh. Okay, I think the the horn and bells are just nicked from an American locomotive. But there you have it. That is everything they get with this. on lots of stuff. Lots more stuff compared to the uh, Hall's Junction that we looked at a couple weeks back. But kind of makes sense because uh, uh, because um. There is, uh, there is no French content by default here in Train Simulator 2. The only way to get French content is to purchase the add-ons. So, yeah. So, all of this equipment will, of course, be seen across the route. And, of course, is all, well, it's included in this add-on. Uh, well, let's look at the route then. Uh, it's actually a pretty long route, all things considered. Like, it's more longer, yeah, it's more long than some of the other routes that we've taken a look at here in Trains in general. Um... Yeah, it's a pretty linear route, though. There's not really much deviation. You just kind of just follow that route it's from uh, Montparnasse. I guess that's the that's like the main big station. And through all the different locations to the other end of the line here at La Very, I think. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Alrighty. Well, that's all of the locomotives and things plus the route. So now let's get into playing a scenario. I think still because for some reason the draw distance in this game is become worse, but yeah. Alright, scenario time. Alright, so you're in the list of scenarios. You have your usual uh quick drive, multiple and everything, but there are four actually uh pre-scripted scenarios. There's the freight service, which is the SCF one four one zero zero circuit of ride, which is the uh steam engine, the two thirty one K steam engine. Uh, TGB duplex, of course, can't, you know, that one, and the Versailles commuter, which is the SNCF 1500, and the, uh, Versailles commuter is the one that we're gonna be doing today. Um, now, I actually played this scenario way back in the day, and I remember there being no AI trains, so, um, this scenario might be interesting, but it must be a bit boring, but, uh, well, this is gonna be our scenario for the day, so, uh, let's do this. So, this is the Versailles commuter, drive a regional train calling uh, wait, there are TGB trains on the track prepared to be overtaken? Oh, okay. Well, alright, whatever. Let's, maybe there will be trains in the scenario. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, but yeah, uh, be prepared. To, yeah, okay. So yeah, regional train calling all uh, calling each station to Versailles. So actually, I think we're actually doing the entire route in this. So we're actually going to see the whole thing from end to end. So yeah. Um, alright, prepared to be overtaken by TGV. So this would be interesting. Alright, well, let, let's see. Let's just see what the scenario has to offer and begin. And here we are, easy minutes per usual. No, I guess there are other trains here. Okay. So actually a bit of a story to tell which I'll let you get into uh, in just a bit. I like how the station move off the generic skyscrapers. But yeah, welcome to the actual Montparnasse station. Uh, which is the, well, one of the terminuses, of course. And I think we're actually going the entire route in this uh, scenario. So, oh, we've got four coaches to pull, so not a very long train. Alright, you're driving a rear train to Versailles today. Seven stops are scheduled. Have a nice trip, but make sure to stop at each destination. Let's go. Alright. Ooh, we have announcements. That's interesting. So we have one first class coach and three invisible second class coaches. 
Here we are then in the uh, SNCF something. I've already forgotten the name of it. <laughs> and we're going to Versala. So we're actually, yeah, so you're actually going to get an opportunity to see this route in its entirety. And, uh, okay, I guess there's some uh, concerts on this route. Not many, though. And there's, oh, we're going to, Le oh, no, we're going to go in the entire, we're going to, I don't know where Versalis is. All right, well, I've been acting, so, okay, I think we're just doing the entire route, but we're doing most of it. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. There's some TTV trains here, of course. And, oh, there's even a double console here, and, yeah, even the front hatch opens on the uh, TTV duplex. In case you didn't know. Oops. No, I gotta get back to the train. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Where's my train? Oh, no, I'm just, <laughs> there it is. Alrighty. Oh, so look at this three dimension or no two dimensional buildings. Look at that. Yeah. Well, here we are then the Paris Montparnasse route. Um, so this is a route that I did get way back in the day, and I did play on it. Actually, no, I didn't. You know, no, 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 no. I just didn't play on the route much at all. Actually, I only just got it for the rolling stock, and I used that. And even then, I don't think I used the rolling stock that much. So. Yeah, here we are, back in the Paris Month for next one, actually driving it in a video, yes. So now I get to a bit of an interesting uh, story, yeah, so so who here likes to uh, listen to stories about lost media? Well, guess what? Um, so, fun fact, way back in the day, way back in 2016, uh, remember Airshell, yeah. Remember, before the era, that screen recorders were actually okay on iPads, and we had to resort to some not-so-legal screen recorders. Yeah, remember back in the days of when we used Airshell to do these kind of videos? And then remember when Airshell had its all these licensing issues and I couldn't record videos half of the time? As I see me there, hello, teach me train. Uh, well, guess what? So way back when, I actually did record a video playing this very scenario on this route. And then when I finished the recording and I exited the app, the app Airshell, to check something, and then I went back into the app, the license had expired. So that whole entire recording of me playing this scenario way back in 2016 was lost. Yeah. So it's a bit of Friday 13 uh, lost media for you. I, I recorded a video of me playing this scenario way back in 2016. And the video was never uploaded because it was lost because Airshell was rubbish. And I just never bothered to re-record that because, um... Actually, I actually don't know why I never bothered, but yeah, never bothered to re-record that video. Um, until now, here we are, several years later, we're fortunately out of that era now. No more, uh, licensing or whatever to worry about, none of that. That, thankfully, that era is now a thing of the past. And I can now record these videos whenever I so please. I don't have to worry about some sort of licensing or whatever. I can just do this whenever I want to. Without the worry about anything else. Because everything is all my own stuff now. Oh, well, even then, that's actually been... Tiny, that's been possible since 2017. Because... Wow, they want to learn a really... Oh, 60... Oh, that's... The, okay. 60 lumbers. Um, but yeah. So, um, that video was lost to time. I never bothered to re-record it, and of course I eventually uh, broke my iPad because uh, I was very temperamental back in those days, and uh, sticking all the way up until now to actually do a video on this route. But here we are, and we're having this very scenario. Uh. All right, well we're never, right now we seem to be going through a more urban part of this route. Oh, well, this route does start with the word Paris. I assume we're exiting. Uh, one of the, I guess, a Paris station, Montparnasse. Um, I think uh, the uh, description throw actually said this one was fictional, so yeah, I don't think this one was like a real thing. It is fictitious. Um, so yeah. Alright, so we got 1.15 kilometers away to the next station. Uh, let's see how the, good the brakes are on this thing then. But I also remember the scenario being pretty boring because there's barely any AI trains in the scenario. I guess there are more than I remember, so I don't know if they added some AI trains. At a certain point or something, or they just, or it's always been here and they just never noticed, or never knew until now, but, yeah. Okay, I think we'll cruise it like, okay, the brakes in this thing are pretty good, so we don't have to worry too much about slowing down, like, far away. I also bring Flombers, which kind of are throwing me off. Yeah. I don't think we have an actual timetable to stick to, though. I think we just have to just 
stop at all the stations, pick up adorable passages, and then that's it. So that's good. Also, I mentioned the scenario duration was 30 minutes. Ah, uh, we'll see. Okay, there's one thing, though, that I just realized, though, about this route. So, they include the TGV duplex, but I don't, think there's actually, I don't think there's, like, an actual high-speed portion to drive on. It's just all, like, sort of just regional sort of thingy. Oh, there's a freight train. Look at that. Come on, train. Freight train. Yes. So there's some of the exclusive free wagons you get in this add-on. That's a cool freight train. So I guess there's some AI trains in here. It's not totally dead. Good to know. But yeah. And like I said, as far as me actually playing this world through my spare time, I really didn't do it all that much. I think I just got this world just for the ruling. It's not going to explain what the suck on like, my own routes or whatever. Never really bothered to actually drive this route. This route looks kind of... I mean, it's alright, I guess, but it's not the best thing. You know. Not a lot of detailing in some areas. It's just kind of... Better than as far as the... Oh, I got another trade coming. Oh, hold up. Hang on. Hold that thought. Another trade coming? Oh, it's another computer. Oh, I mean, I'm clear to go. There's another commute train about to overtake us. As we know, pull away. Hmm. I guess there's some AI trains in this scenario. Alright, well, good. At least we got stuff to look at whilst we drive this service. So we're going to, where are we going to, Losea or something? Uh, no, Versa oh, Versailles, okay, so we're going up to this point there and then, the re okay, so we're actually, doing only, we're actually only doing half the route, that was going to be the entire route, but no, just half of it, okay. Alright. You may also be wondering why I didn't take the TGV duplex, um, with it being like a high speed train and me being like a big high speed train guy. Um... That is because we'll likely be driving the uh, TG duplex at some other point in time. And um, I figured it would be more interesting to drive one of the uh, local trains instead. Current commuter. Because the funny thing is they include the TGV duplex, but I don't even think you can even go that fast on this route. So there's really no point in... Um, in driving that, if it's gonna go slow all the time, at least this, I forget to 120 kilometers per hour, but at least that's a sort of a normal speed for this kind of train. So they include the TGV duplex in this route, but this isn't really a, a, a route that's really made for the TGV duplex. So yeah. There's also something else I just I can't believe it took me this long to realize it. This is I think this is like the first electric route that we're actually looking at here in this. Recent Trin Singular 2 saga thingy. Oh, it's actually pretty soon. There's a little track here. Doesn't actually go anywhere, but that's just scenery. I do like some of the building assets, though. But that's what offers as well. I think I actually made a couple experimental routes back in the day using some of the assets in this route. So, this is some interesting stuff to look at here. Okay. Oh, brakes are pretty good. Uh-oh. Ah, I think we're just up in time. Yeah, we'll make it. All seem better. No red lights to worry about. Oh, another train. I don't know. Another commuter. Another... I think I guess it's inner city. I'm not sure, but yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. I... 
I remember this route being or this or this and having no AI train, so I'm not sure if that was But there's a fact AI trade to look at, so yeah, the scenario isn't so boring after all. Seems that's kind of cool. I like it. Something different. And it's French as well, which is something that we don't get very often in these train sims. I don't know. You know, France, that country has so many cool railways. Like, there's, there's, there's so many different things you could make for, like... A simulator but a lot of these train sim companies just seem to ignore that I guess maybe we'll go I guess something else to mention about uh, like sort of French railways <laughs> so um, as we know recently dovetail games were brought up by focus entertainment which is a French um, a French company thing of a jiggy or I think it's a French publisher or something uh, but anyway when they when that buyout happened Dovetail did like a sort of like a special thing, a special deal. Oh, I'm drinking long enough to say that. They did a special deal where you could download like all of the French stuff for free for like a weekend. And the funny part about it, it's all high speed stuff. So, as far as Train Summer Classic, you have the TGV or the LGV route from Marseille to Avignon. You also have the uh, extension which goes from Mar uh, Marseille to uh, Lyon. In France, uh, which extends the that route to Leon, uh, and then there's the TGV Resume, which is a separately available add-on, uh, and then for Train Sim World, there's another Marseille to Avignon route. Yeah, basically the same route but for Train Sim World applied. And that's it. It's all French or no? It's it's all high speed stuff. That's it. There's there's nothing like as far as French content. That's it. I should real I, I should mention yeah yeah as far as like French content for or uh, okay I, or I should say okay I should say official French content as far as officially made French content for like Dovetail Games Train Slim and Train Slim World it's just the TGV stuff now I do believe that there are other French trains uh, available in the world of like uh, Railworks or Train Sims or whatever uh, but those are just made by uh, third-party developers, and not very well-known third-party developers either. You're gonna have to dig pretty deep to try to find some French content for Railroad Strength Simulator. And that's a real shame because you know France has so many great railways. Like there's there's so many good route ideas you can do for France, and yet the TGV is the only one that gets any sort of notoriety. I don't know. Well, you know what? Now that we have SimRail, which um, actually does go into countries that are not as well known, and with the train editor and the route editor coming, hopefully we'll get a lot more uh, French content uh, to come. But at least here in the world of trains, and even the trains mobile world, we do at least have a few French routes and French trains to play with, such as this. Oh, here's another, another TGV. I say another TGV. Oh, the first TGV we've seen actually since leaving uh, the main station. Oh, that's a. Oh, he's going fast. Yes. He's duplex double set. All right. How fast is he going, by the way? 160. Ah. Okay, it's not bad, but it's not exactly fast either. All right, let's go. Now we can depart. I will say this though, it was pretty cool when they did introduce the uh, TGB uh, LGV route to uh, Transmission Classic way back in 2016. Um, but that's it. Like as far as and the other thing is. You can't even purchase the GGV Rizu anymore, like that add-on. I don't think you. Can, I don't think. I don't think you can even purchase that on anymore. Um. So, yeah. <sighs> yeah.
There's also another statistic, though, that I learned um, about DuckTales games and their train sims. Um, the LGV Marseille Avignon is tra in, in Train Sim World, the Train Sim World version, is actually the most popular route in all of Train Sim World. Like, out of all of the add-ons that they've ever made for Train Sim World, the LGV Marseille Avignon is the most popular one. And I don't think it's the most popular one because it's the only French I don't know they've ever made for Train Sim World. I think it's just because it's high speed and people just like high speed. You know? I bet you if they made a, made a non-high speed French route, I mean, it would probably still sell well. Maybe not as well as the German stuff, but... You know, that's kind of dovetail, though. They just... They, they make add-ons that will make the most amount of money. And, actually, and by the way, they actually mentioned that set on the live stream when they were about to talk about the uh, sub lease and high-speed extended route for... Uh, for Trace and World 3. Um, and the instead of the sub lease and high-speed route, or the original Lost Ethan high-speed route, that came on the Trace and World 2 era, that was actually their second most... Uh, popular route in Trains and World, so that's why they took that route and they basically approved it uh, for Trains and World 3. They extended it and, and everything, and you know, the whole shebang. Personally, I would have preferred if they did something new, but this is Dovetail. Alright, that's Dovetail for you. Now, that, that, this is, this is not that this is NVB, thank you, who, who seemed to, yeah, me. I'm just talking a bunch of sauces now. Um, but yeah. French content in the world in the world of train sims. We need more of it, more. Yes, I mean it's cool that we have it here in uh, in trains similar to, but yeah, sauce. Personally, as an American, I think French railways are pretty cool, and I wish we had more of them in train sims. But again, uh, thankfully, Simrail exists now, so. I'm sure it'll come. Just need the editing tools to drop, and then, and then someone tags me make a French route. Oh I'm sure someone out there will. All right. Let's see if we duplex. Yes. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure if I remember there being AI trains in this scenario, or I'm, I was... I don't know. <laughs> you know, if anyone got this route and played this scenario way back in 2016 when it came out, uh, you guys will have to confirm that for me. If there's anyone who can. Well, this part looks kind of cool. There's like sort of a overhead thing. I was kind of like this route as a route as well. This uh, press bump to Parnas. It's kind of a sort of like a more busier sort of um, mainline route, I guess. Sort of a what's the one looking for? I don't know, but I like it. You know, all things considered, though, I just don't play this game very much anymore in my spare time. I really only play this when I record videos. Hmm. Maybe that'll change though, but we'll see. I will be honest, I'm not really as into these trains mobile games as I used to be. I mainly just make videos about them now because, you know, you guys actually watch these videos. Uh, pretty much a lot of supply and demand, really. Um, but we'll see what happens. But it's a nice route. Uh, scenery is a bit barren in some places, though. I think some more detailing would have been nice. But on the whole, that's all right. Better than Hall's Junction, I can tell you that much. I definitely recommend this route over Hall's Junction because you just get a decent amount of rolling stock. And the route itself is pretty good as well. And as far as I'm aware, we actually have scenarios that aren't stupid. Here we are approaching the station. Are we gonna stop in time? Yeah, I'm trying to really straight lengthen out these breaky distances. Try to, you know, let's go a little bit faster. But 
Ah, oh, we're gonna make it. Yeah, we're gonna make it. And France in general, I think, probably has the best, or some of the best railways in, like, the whole of Europe, and even the whole of the world, as a matter of fact. Although I think Switzerland's railways are pretty good as well. But, France, yeah. Although France, you know, they're, they're mainly well-known, I mean, ironically, they're mainly well-known for their TGV trains. Um, you know. As I think France was the, uh, the first country after Japan to... Build a high-speed rail system. Also, this looks pretty cool driving through. Uh, but yeah, France, I believe, was the first uh, country after Japan to implement a or build a high-speed rail system, and they are now famous for it. In fact, they are so famous for their high-speed trains that France, or most specifically, Alstom and the SNCF, I think it was Alstom actually, but Alstom built. The fastest train in the whole world. That was the uh, TGV V150 or POS. I'm not too sure what that was actually called, but yeah, they built the fastest train in the world. And technically, that's still the fastest train to use uh, wheels and rails. Um, so the actual fastest train of all time that exists right now is the uh, the Maglev. Uh, specifically the uh, Shao Shinkansen Maglev in Japan. Uh, that is technically the fastest train of all time, but the uh, TGV V150 is the fastest train ever to use, you know, good old wheels and rails. Something that we're, you know, familiar with. Whereas magnetic levitation is something that's more of a, well, it's more of a novel concept, all things considered. Yeah. Speaking of Maglevs, I was actually just watching a, um, a recently released documentary about the uh, Maglev uh, test track act that happened in Amazon, Germany back in 2006. Oh, there's a train beneath us. Ah, uh, freight train that we can't see because it's below us. There you go, that's a TV train down there as well. Hello there. But yeah. Well, how many of you guys watch uh, the uh, channel called Plainly Difficult? Uh, that's the uh, channel that makes uh, accident documentaries. Uh, sort of ones, not like the super long ones, but you know, it, it's it's quickly digestible, if you know what I mean. I quite like that channel, you know, of course. And in case you didn't know, I actually quite enjoy watching like uh, dis disaster documentary videos. We watch a lot of air accident documentary videos, actually. I don't know why, but I just find those videos to be so interesting. Um, but yeah, recently uh, a video came out documenting that accident, which um, I think most, at least some real fans, uh, would know about. Um, and you know, the Megalov as a concept, though, like in general, it's interesting, but I'm not sure if it will become like the dominant way of travel in the future, though. Like, I think even like forever and always, we're going to continue to have, you know, regular wheels and rails as a way that we, you know, make our trains move and everything. I do think that maglevs are good, of course, for high-speed travel, and I think are a good substitute for airplanes. Um, but I do think that these, you know, wheels and rail trains will still always be used for conventional services, you know, like commuters and everything, because <laughs> you can't really use a maglev for, like, a commuter server or something like that, because then it just... It, it, never, it would never actually reach speed. It would just speed up and then slow down immediately, and... I mean, it'd be fast, but also be a little bit impractical in some ways i think yeah, i think it's a little bit silly to use a maglev for that i think maglev is better off used for like long distance travel like uh i mean if we had a I, th I think it would be perfect if we could you know build a maglev that went from like new york to san francisco or something now that'd be a very good purpose for the maglev oh we got a train coming oh it's egv yes Are we ready to depart? And we're up to our about to our final destination. Also, one thing I, I, I say just notice one thing I'm just now noticing 
Okay, one thing I'm noticing here is that the wheels don't turn. Yeah, these 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 assets are so old that the wheels don't turn. Huh. What year do these come from? These probably I think these come from even before like trains twenty ten or two thousand nine or something. Like maybe trains two thousand Actually, I think these might even date back to Train 2004 or something. Or 2006. What well, you guys may have to let me know about that. But yeah, these, these, these assets date back a long time ago. Oh, well, this is one of the critique I had before this scenario. I thought this scenario would be a bit boring, but no, this scenario has actually been pretty enjoyable so far. And we're already almost at our final destination. Nice. Just a quick commuter service across a French route. Yeah. It's a decent scenario. Why are we about to overtake the TGV train though? Why is that TGV going so slow? Is this that's the speed limit? Yeah, it's only like 60. Why is speed only 60 there? That's strange. Hello, Mr. TGV Train. Yeah, I am a commuter overtaking you. That is kind of cursed, but this line is kind of weird. That's a good shot there, though. All right, well, nearly a final stop uh, for the service. So, yeah, not going to do the entire route. Um, maybe we'll check out the rest of the route some other time, though. Oh, we never really at the end of this platform. Oh, no. I mean, it's a false stop, but still, I'd like to at least finish this scenario. Like, actually finish it. Yeah, I think we're gonna red light at the end of this platform. Look at the cool bridge. This one goes over a road. Yep, that's a red light. Okay. And there's just gonna rush to the six so there's a little bit more there because the the easy mode sort of driving thing is a bit weird to use. Other reason yeah, you may be wondering why do I use the uh, the uh, easy mode as opposed to realistic mode. I I don't know. I just can't get to grips with the realistic mode here in, in uh, trains. Oh, did I get in the brakes in time? Oh yeah, I did. Okay. So yeah, and I don't know. I kind I like to save realistic mode for like the more realistic train sims, like you know, train sim classic or world or sim rail. You know, those are the kind of sims I like to use realistic mode for. Whereas trains is more of like a sort of a arcade train simulator, I guess. Well, that's it then. Here we are at our final destination. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. So, what's gonna be our score? Actually, you know what? We didn't speed or anything. We didn't run into red lights, so we should get a perfect five out of five star score for this one. Well, let's see what the game thinks. Come on. It's taking its time to, I guess, do the loading and unloading process. Come on. Guess take a look around whilst it does that. Also, I've noticed the draw distance has gotten worse. Is is that has Tracy? No, that's or oh, it's just this this version. Hmm. Maybe it's just this iPad. I don't know. Well, I don't know why it would be this iPad. Because I think this iPad is you new. Know, although this game is pretty old, so I don't know. Oh, well, okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. Let's see if you train again. And there you go. Full 505 stores. All righty then. Well, as TGB train goes into the distance, can't see, can't hardly see because of this thing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that is it for this video. Um... So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in whatever I make next.